Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And before we get into today's news story, I want to give everyone a quick heads up. Today is Cyber Monday, which means for today, you can save up to 35% off the entire Ghostbusters News store. And best yet, this includes both fan favorite t-shirts, along with several new additions we just added this morning. If you'd like to check out the sale, be sure to visit the link down below in this video's description. Alright, now let's switch to today's topic, which is all about Jason Reitman taking Instagram yet again and sharing more behind-the-scenes images from the making of Ghostbusters Afterlife. With this time, a look at the Gozerian Temple miniature. I don't know about you, but as a Ghostbusters toy collector, I see these images, and all I can think of is how this would be one must-have playset. Seriously, Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse, get on this right now. You know what? I may have gotten sidetracked there. Let's focus back in on that post and once again the miniature. For those wondering as to why something like this would be needed, it was crucial for Reitman and the crew of Afterlife to plan out proper filming angles and shots before constructing the actual full-scale set. Now it looks like this miniature was made of styrofoam, and let me also add I love the miniature terror dogs that were used. Now speaking of director Jason Reitman, I'd suggest giving him a follow over on Instagram if you've yet to do so, as he's been giving fans a great look at the overall creative process behind Ghostbusters Afterlife, including several never before seen photos and videos straight from the set. With one of the more impressive posts from Reitman showcasing the Spangler Farm. For those unaware, the farmhouse was built just for the film, and they set dressed not only the exterior, but the interior as well. And not only that, but an additional rendition of the house was built on a studio lot for scenes that needed a bit more CGI. And while we're talking about Reitman's Instagram posts, I just want to share this great shot of McKenna Grace wearing the Proton Pack for the very first time. I mean, look at the smile on her face, the happiness, the overall glee. The caption of this post from Jason Reitman reading, Impossible to wear a Proton Pack and not smile. McKenna Grace tries out the particle thrower for the first time during a screen test. Now that is all I've got for you at the moment. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We've a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time. <laughs>